Hi so everyone, I'm Noah, this is Nick. You probably remember us from a couple of weeks ago, we ran a similar session to what we're going to run today. We're second year physiotherapy students from the Uni of Worcester, as you probably remember. And all you're going to need today is just like before, like we did in the last session, just yourself and a chair, like we've got there with Nick. So I'll just give you a couple of seconds here just to go grab anything that you need, or you might already have it, but that's all right. So then to begin, what we're going to do is we can start with a, qu a quick warm up, get everything, get like blood flowing, get pulse rates and everything. So what we're going to start with, we're going to start with neck rolls or just any movement around the neck. So as Nick said, demonstrate, go all the way around. If you do that five times in each direction, or what you could do as well is just look up to the ceiling and look down and just look over each shoulder perhaps, just to warm up every all the muscles around the neck, get it loose, get it ready for what we're going to do. And following this, what we're going to do is going to do shoulder rolls. So you're going to roll the shoulders forward and you're going to roll the shoulders backwards. So we're going to do five of those. So I'll let you count with Nick. So we'll go one, two, that's three, four, and five. So now Nick's going to go backwards with the shoulders, roll them really far back as far as possible. Really trying to get all these muscles really loose and soaking up. And last one, and that's five. What we do next is we do really large, big arm swings to really get everything going. So Nick sits forward in the chair. We can do five of these forward and then five of these backwards. So do it in time with Nick as, as before. Okay, there's two, three, four, last one, and five. Now Nick's gonna go backwards, so if you do it in time, he's gone one, two, Three, four, and five. Good job, everyone, so far. Shake off if you need to. What we're going to do next is just for about 10 seconds, 15 seconds, move your wrists around in any way, get them warmed up, shake them about, roll them around a little bit if you need to. And just get everything. All we're trying to do now is get everything really warmed up, ready for today's session. And then following on from this, we're going to do the same thing that we just did at the wrist, just going to do it at the ankles. So, as Nick's going to demonstrate here, six legs out, so we're going to wiggle them about a little bit, do one foot at a time. If you feel confident enough, you can do both feet at a time if you want to, but just as Nick's doing, just moving the foot around, really getting it warmed up, shaking it about if you need to. <coughs> So that's a good job so far. Next we're going to do, after Nick's finished this one, we're going to do a bit of a pulse raiser. So we're going to start with, this one next, so we're going to do, just going to do march on the spot. So if you follow, do in time with Nick. What we're going to do is about a minute of this. And we're going to start, we're going to start off slow like this. And each 15 seconds we're just going to build up and build up. So that's a good job so far. And right now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up the speed a little bit. So if you're going to try and just keep pace with Nick as best as possible. Obviously if you fall behind, don't worry about that. It's all in your own time. But if we're going to try and stick to Nick's pace as possible, and we're really going to try and push Nick here as well as fast as we can. <laughs> Let me work fast. So now if we speed up again. So you've got 30 seconds left of this. That's good job, good job. Now we're really going to push this and go really, really fast. Try and keep pace with him now. And just 15 seconds of this. Should be getting tired now, like me. Wearing, wearing Nick out. Doing very good. Right, so five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. A little break. Boy. Shake off your legs if you need to. Really good job so far, everyone. Hopefully your heart's beat a bit quicker. You can feel blood pumping around your body. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to the marches, but this time we're going to bring in the arms as well. So we're going to go in about medium pace, just like Nick is, and we're going to pick up in the last 15 seconds like before. We'll probably do about 30 seconds. So you start with Nick now. And see how he's going. Keep pace as best as you can. Try and do your arms the same as our Nick's doing, he's doing alternate for each leg that's going. And then now you can speed up a little bit. 15 seconds, and the last five we're really going to go for it as quick as possible. So. And now if you really start going, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job everyone, shake off if you need to. Hope Good job guys. Hopefully a bit tired. What we're doing now, hopefully 
bit of fun. Make sure you've got a lot of room around you. Make sure there's no one too close to you. And we're going to start with doing, doing some boxing. And you're going to go out to the front to begin with. And you're going to go on next pace. And then about five seconds, we're going to start moving to different directions. So four, three, two, one. Out to the sides, up to the top, down if you want to. I'll join in as well. And just really pushing yourselves here. And keep your punches good. Make sure no one's around you, obviously. Like I said before, don't want to be hitting anyone on the head or anything. <laughs> so we should remember these from last week, because we did this last week. So we know we should be getting a little bit faster as we go through. Doing very well, keep going. And then for the final 10 seconds here, you're gonna push as far as you can. Try and keep up the nip, using your get worn out, ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Good job, everyone. Good, good, good job, job guys. Good job, good job. <coughs> Hopefully, right now, shake off a little bit, take a little breather if you want, grab a little drink. What we're going to do now is move on to the main part of our session, which we're going to focus on just exercising throughout the body. So, a quick kind of a drink. Make sure you've just shaken everything off, feel nice and loose, ready for the exercises that we're going to do now. So, what we're going to begin with, we're going to start with what, what, what we've done before, quite similar to last week, is we're going to do the heel to toe raises. So, as Nick demonstrates, goes up onto his toes and up onto his heels. So what we're going to do is we're going to do five of these. So when I begin, so we'll go now, so this can go one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Really good job there, everyone. And next, so next exercise, shake off a little bit if you need to. So we're going to do calf raises. So as Nick demonstrates here, he's going to go up onto his toes like that, just as you can see. And we're going to go up and he's going to hold for a couple of seconds and then he's going to come back down. And we're going to do, so we're going to do 10 of these. So when everyone's ready, do it in time with Nick. So we'll go one and down and two and down three, down four. Really good job so far, everyone. Good job keeping up with Nick. That's four. That's, this is five. Should be feeling it just down the back of your leg, right in the calf. Calf raises in the name. We're up to seven. Three left now, really push through these. Eight, nine, and final one, and that's 10. Really good job so far. Trying to do the best stuff, possible. everyone. So next, what Nick's gonna do, is we're gonna do the waist twist, which you've seen us do before. You're gonna cross your arms across your chest, just as Nick's about to show, and you're just gonna twist as far as possible down into the sides. Try to keep hip straight, really just twisting that waist. So we're just twisting our upper body, so try and keep our legs facing forwards, our hips nice and straight. Just twist it even if you can go this far, or if you can go right across, that's fine. Just nice and easy. And we're going to do 10 of these on each side. So as Nick goes, as Nick goes to the right, we'll start, we'll go one, and that's one. And then two, two, three, three, four, four, and we're halfway through, a really good job. That's six, seven, six, Ooh, six. seven. This is seven, sorry. Seven, <laughs> seven. Eight. Eight. eight, nine, nine, final two, ten, and ten. Shake off, give yourself a quick. Oh, well done, everyone. Next one. Doing really well so far. Hope everyone's keeping up all right. Don't worry if you're not. Do, do it in your own time. Join in when you can. Do as much as possible, though. And what we're going to do next, quite similar, but you're going to be reaching as far as you can behind you each way. Just as Nick demonstrates, he's going to reach as far as he can, keeping his upper body turning and his lower body facing forward as much as possible. He's going to try and twist and twist. Doesn't matter if the knees go a little bit, they're always going to go with this. And we're going to do the same as before, we're going to just do 10 on each side. So over we begin now, Nick's going to start and you go with him. That's one, and one, two, and two, really focus on reaching as far back as you can. Don't worry if it's not as far as Nick's going. He's very, very agile and flexible. You might be able to get further than me. That's it, nice big reach around. There we go. Reach around to the opposite side. As far as you can. What's that now? <sighs> so looking at seven. Seven now. Start with eight and eight. About right, four more. Then we're almost done with this exercise. This is the final two, push through now, really get through guys. Well done everyone, really, really good job. 
Ah, there we go, well done everyone. So the next, you remember the exercise from before, we did sit to stand, but we're gonna put a bit of a variation this time, just to test a bit of balance, get you up and get you balanced a little bit more. So when Nick stands up, for, just for a couple of seconds, he's gonna sway to the right, just as Nick does, he's gonna sway the other way, then he's gonna sit back down. So not only are we doing the exercise of standing, we're also gonna work a little bit of balance, just to progress on that exercise from last week a little bit more. So when it begins, we're gonna do five of these. So, and that's back on one. Then watch as he sways, stay in time, he sways the other way, then he comes back down and back up. And if you need to use your hands when standing, don't, there's no problem with that to push up at all. Make sure you shuffle towards the edge of the seat as well. Just like Nick has, he's got a great base of support there. Just follow what he does. That's three now as Nick comes back down. Two more left now, really push through these, really good job so far. Well done everyone. Try to stay nice and balanced, take your time. That's four, one more, really push through this, That's great one. job so far. And there we go, good job, very really good job. Well done so everybody. If you need, you just have a little bit of time for the next one. The next one's going to be a bit of a push, so don't worry if you can't do it, but what you're going to need to do is stand up and move behind the chair. And we're going to try and do, we're going to try and do a how long I'm going to do now, a one leg hold, but obviously you're going to be holding onto the chair. And that's just going to be a hold for about three seconds, we're going to do through on each leg. So I think if we, if you can't do this one, if you're struggling to go behind the chair, what I'll do is I'll do a, a demonstration of just a sitting one. Mm -hmm. So we can do it in sitting as well if you can't go behind the chair. You start, get, get to one if you don't have a chair, say you're, you've got a table nearby or a desk or you've got a sofa, you can go onto the edge of the sofa, anything that's about about this height or a bit higher for you, it's a good height, but you can rest your hands on nicely and can, you can use to support yourself. So if Nick demonstrates the standing one first, what he's going to do is he's going to lift up on either leg and he's going to hold for about three seconds and then when he's done he's going to bring the leg back down and then we'll do the other leg next and it'll do three seconds. Okay, so, so if we, sorry, if we can't do yeah, this uh, standing, so we can do it in sitting as well, so just as an alternative, so I want you to shuffle your bum forward to the edge and then we're just going to hold like we're doing there, just nice and easy, three seconds and back down, and then three seconds and back down. So we've got an alternative, two ways we can do it, but I'm going to stand up for this one. Don't worry if you can't do a stand up at all, we're just trying to work and progress everyone, so hopefully by next session you might be able to do the stand up, but don't worry if you're not, it's all just about exercising as best as you can. So when Nick begins now, we're going to do three on each leg, and then one, two, three, he comes down, and there's the other leg for one, two, three, and then to the third one, one, two, three, fourth one now. So only two left after this, and when Nick comes back down, we'll be on for the next two. So really push through, three down, and this is the last one. Well done everyone so far, really, really good job. And that's Very well done everyone. So we've gone, we've gone one through the session, let's check what time we're on quickly. So what I was saying to do is we'll run back through those, but what we're going to do is we're going to reduce the amount of reps you're doing, but we're going to make them a little bit quicker, so you're going a little bit like, harder into them, or maybe increase the hold. We're going to make them a little bit harder this time, but we're going to do less of them. So hopefully you should feel, feel a bit more coming through the end of these sessions right here. So we're going to go, I'll let everyone have a quick drink, shake off as much as you need to, quick breather, quick minute, just make sure you still Blood's still pumping, but I don't need to be overworked or anything. Don't overwork any of these muscles. We'll just take a quick break. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go straight back in and we're going to start with the heel toe raises when everyone's ready, when everyone's back. So just a couple seconds. So what we'll do is we're still going to do five of these, but when you go up, a little bit of a longer hold on these ones. So when, as the next one straight now, he's going to hold for a bit longer going up and hold for a bit longer going back. So if everyone's ready now, what we'll do is we'll start, and when Nick goes, we're going to go at the same time, all right? So, ready? Okay. That's one, and one. Two, and two, three, and three, four, four, five, and five. Really good job. That's going to be a little bit harder than it was before, but hopefully you still be feeling all right. What we're going to move on to next is we're going to do Calf raises again, I'm going to stick with the same amount, with 10, but just hold for maybe a second longer than what we did last time, a little little tiny bit longer than what we did, just to really push their muscles into working. So when we're, when we're doing this exercise, we didn't, I, I don't think we mentioned it before, we want to try and squeeze this muscle together at the back. So as we lift up, we want to give this muscle at the back here, our calf muscle, 
a bit of a squeeze, okay, as we're holding for that time. So when, if everyone's ready, when nip begins, we're going to go on the next count again. So as nip goes and holds, then comes back down, that's one. So remember, as you come up, squeeze this muscle, hold for three seconds, and then we're back down in two. Then up again, and as you can see, give a see through next job, that muscle's really working, it's really got like tension, holding on, make sure that uh, movement's staying nice and simple. And as it comes up again, you can see, it's a very simple, easy movement, as you come up, just holding it, and that muscle's doing all that work. This is the fifth one now. Only five, only five more of this, so we're doing really well so far. Work our way back through this second part now, and we're doing really good. Seven, isn't it? Yeah, seven now, so three more. Last few guys doing really well. Really pushing, so this way you should really start feeling them, really starting to like really work now. You can feel a bit of the ache, that's good, that's what we want, it means the muscles have really been working. And this is the last one, really pushing out. When you come back down, there you go. Shake your legs off if you need to, give them a little wiggle, relax them a little bit. As the next, we're going to move on to, I'm going to go back to the waist twist. This time, as you go to the side, you're going to hold for literally a second as you go, then come back, but we're only going to do five going each way this time. So as Nick goes left now, we're going to begin. So that's one, as you go, one and hold, and two and hold, and three, and hold. There it goes. Finishing that. Got well, this is four yeah. and four and then last two five and five. Really good job. Really good job. We're going to go. We're going to keep going with this movement. We're going to just do the reaches. And we're going to hold just like the last one. And we're just going to do. We're going to cut down. We're going to five going each way. So as Nick goes to the right, and he holds. And he goes the other way and holds, so that's one. And that's two. Really reaching as far as you can round. Make sure you don't fall off your chair or anything. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> Do it within your base of support. We can move on to four. Yep. Now, and then final one, is it? Yes. Last that's one. That's the last one. There we go. I think finished up with that reach there. Yeah. Really, really good job. So now we're going to go back to the sit stands, but we're just going to, we're going to stick with the same now because this, this has been new and progressed this week. So as Nick stands, you can do the same sway as before. We don't want to push too hard or anything. It's going to sway both ways. And you can come back down. We don't want to push this exercise too hard because we just progressed this this week. So as he comes up, this will be one. And then as he goes back down, that's one. And so this is two. Doing a really good job so far, everyone. Doing very well, everybody. This is the second to last exercise of this main session that we're going to do before we get onto the cool down. So, if you're doing really, really well to get this far, hopefully, you're all still going as much as possible. Don't worry if you're not, just join us back in whenever you can. We have pushed this second part a little bit harder, so don't worry if you've had to take a couple breaks or anything. That's more than all right. One more, I think. This is the last one here. Just shifting the weight across into the middle and then back across again. And um, nice, easy sit down. Well done, everybody. Really, really good job. And just for this last exercise, just the last one we did, Nick demonstrated the holding on and doing the leg raise. Or if you need to do it sitting, you can do it sitting. Yeah, so this one was just a leg raise, wasn't it? If you remember, and a hold. And again, we can do it sitting if we want, but I'm going to say standing. And if you can, you could do standing as well. But it's absolutely fine to do it in sitting too. So then, as Nick begins now, we're going to go up. We're going to do the same three seconds. One, two, three, and down. And as it goes up again, Two, three, and down. So that's two, four more. Three. Then up for one, two, three. Really good job. Two left for one, two, and three. And last one now. Really, really, really good hard. job. Two, three. And that is that. That's when you give yourself a round of applause. Fantastic really good job for doing the main session. So now, now you've got your blood pumping, you've got all the exercises, you've got your muscles been working. We're going to move down into the cool down. So to begin with, we're going to start by putting the arm across the body and you're going to be other arm in just where, near enough where your elbow is, just either side of it, and you're going to pull in towards your body. And we're going to hold that, say, just 15 seconds. So you've done a really good job so far. You should really feel it pulling right along here. You can see where Nick's working, right along there. And that's where you should feel it pulling. And as he reaches the end of this, he's going to swap over and we're going to do it on the other arm. 
This one is boxing, and we've been using the arms a little bit. Good to work off, good to stretch them off. Always nice to stretch your muscles out at the end of the session. Makes you feel nice and loose when you finish. So as you can hold this for 15 seconds, probably about halfway through now. And when we finish this one, we've got another nice little stretch to move on to next. So that okay. is that. So the next one, what it's literally going to do is he's going to raise his arm above his head and try and drop it down. And if you can reach above and push down with your other arm, please do. But don't worry if you can't, you're trying to push it down your back as well as possible. If not, you can just hold it there without pushing down. But if you can, do aim to try and push it down. It does help. So this is a nice stretch, everyone, for the back of the arm. Okay? So you should feel the stretch in the back of your arm there. Okay, when you do, just come out and exactly the same other side. So you can, with your other arm, as Noah said, push down on there, or you can just be in this position that I am, which is comfortable and I can feel the stretch just as much. And then when we finish, just another 15 seconds from this, so we're probably about, what, halfway through that now. Then we finish this stretch. We've got a few chest stretches, a back stretch, a couple for the legs, and we're just gonna finish off with some really nice deep breathing to really cool you down and finish off the session. So the next one, what Nick's going to do is he's going to come in to his back. Yeah, if you don't show us. He's going to push forward and really push his chest out. He's going to stretch these pet muscles up here. And you can see him working. You can see where the t-shirt's going to stretch. That's where he's pushing out. So you're going to hold that just for 15 seconds. Don't obviously push really hard to your back. You're going to hurt yourself. But nice, just a little, little push in. You can see them, it all bend outwards or push outwards, sorry. And that's how it should look. So when Nick finishes that one, just hold for probably about... Five more seconds, and then really okay. finishes this. The next one is called, it's called the nice beach ball hug stretch. So what Nick's going to do, he's going to put his hands together, he's going to push them out as far as possible, away from them, almost like you've got a beach ball right in there. So you can imagine he's holding one right there and he's trying to push his hands away from the body. You can see from the side. I can turn if you want, as Noah says. So it's just hands out, so keep chin in, and then push your hands out. So you're trying to push your hands away from your body, and it's just called beach ball because it's like you almost got a beach ball in that gap between your arms, and you're just holding it there. Should be a nice stretch across your back. If you just, if you look at it, it's right along there. You can see where the back's turning. It's really nice. And we finish this in about five seconds. Got, we've got a nice little leg stretch just to work off the legs from earlier. Yeah. So what we're going to do here, if you can see with Nick or you can see with me, I'll do it standing, and this is it there. You should push that leg out. Almost like I'm sat now, and just gonna try and reach your arm down. Obviously, don't overexert, just a little bit down, just below the knee if you can. So you can feel a nice stretch, should hopefully feel it all the way on the back of that leg. I'll we'll just hold that for 15 seconds on this left leg, you can see Nick's doing. Then we're gonna swap over and we'll do that on the right leg next, just to work both legs off. And switch the legs over now. Gonna hold that just for the same time. This will be the final stretch we're doing. Just gonna do a few, few deep breaths after this. Nice, like you hopefully remember from last week. Remember doing really cools you off and finishes off the session nicely. Helps you get re control of your breathing again. And everything. It's just really good for you. Now as Nick finishes that stretch, this last little bit we're just gonna do five of these. As you can see, we're gonna go start from down here. You're gonna circle your arms up as you breathe in. Then when you breathe out. The arms go back down. So then we do five of these. So if you do it in time with Nick, and I'll do it as well. So we go breathe in, and breathe out for one, and breathe in and out for two. Breathe in and breathe out. That's three. Two more now. In. And out. Last one now. Last one, everyone. Up. And that is five. That's, that's all for me and Nick today. Really, really good job on doing all these exercises today. Remember, you can give yourselves a little shake off if you want to. And obviously, as we've just done there, a big clap for this morning. Give yourselves a pat on the back if you want. Really well done for getting through your session. Thank you for joining me and Nick in this session. It's always good to help us run it and everything. So, so we've got... We've got, I think, one more session to do with you. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do another session, same as this one. Um, but we're going to do some new exercises yeah, on. So we're going to yeah. progress it again. Um, so we look forward to seeing you then. Um, and thank you, everybody, for taking part. Cheers. We'll see you soon. Thank you very much, everyone.